of all the, the, the Apple products that had lines, the earlier iPhones, the earlier iPads, yes, I always waited in line overnight. Something inspiring in me, something said, this is a big, important deal. I want to be a part of it, just like you want to be a part of a huge festival, you know, Coachella maybe. This is going to be an inspiring, great time in my life. That's how I thought about it. It was just like waiting overnight to get tickets to an important concert. The earliest I've gotten in line for an Apple product is generally uh, close to 24 hours in advance, coming by maybe in the morning to noon time and then sitting out all night long till the store opens at whatever, eight in the morning. When I'm waiting in line for products, of course I'm very anxious inside and I feel all the adrenaline flowing, but I still have to keep up with my email coming in on my computer. Usually I'm sitting in a chair on my computer watching the new Apple product being opened in New Zealand. And then I'm watching it in Australia. And then I'm watching it eventually in Tokyo and then London. And by the time it gets to California, 17 hours later, it's sort of like the whole thing already happened. The glamour of being first already happened. I don't really do it anymore. Pretty much just know the products are coming out and they're not gonna be available on day one, especially the version I want. So I just order it online and accept it. I, I, I got a lot more patient now. As an Apple founder, I wouldn't try to get one that way because of, I, before Apple, I had my own philosophical code. I try to be like normal people and do it the same way everyone else does. Get in line, buy it, pay full price. I'm sure I could probably ask and get some favors, but I'm just not a favor asker. There were times, like the first iPhone, Steve Jobs actually sent me one, and there were other computers he would send me one but not ask for. I buy most of the important Apple products because technology is my excitement in life, you know, just like, um, movies and popular culture these are all things oh my gosh i want to be a part of it would you would you miss the next the next star wars movie <laughs> you know some people wouldn't you know wouldn't miss it it's a that deep a part of their life